Today, I'd like to reveal the ancient mysteries of Belfast. Belfast is a city made up of five quarters, because people from Belfast can't count. They think 26 and 6 is 1. Belfast is the biggest city in Ireland, when you don't count all the other cities that are bigger than Belfast, like Dublin. Everyone from Belfast thinks being from Belfast is a personality type. Belfast, the Cork city of Northern Ireland. The Catholic and Protestant areas of West Belfast are all separated by peace walls, the least peaceful places on the planet. Since the fire that burnt down the Primark in 2018, all the Millies and Smicks have been walking around Belfast without any clothes on. Everyone's been confused by this big blue fish in the heart of the city centre. But it's finally been revealed that Jerry Adams lives in here. And every time the fish gets kissed by the lips of a Protestant, the North moves a step away from a unified Ireland. But when the reality of a 32 county Ireland arrives, Jerry will go back into the lake and go for a really long backstroke. Because if there's one thing Jerry loves doing on his day off, it's going for a good swim. The jailhouse is one of the most loved pubs in Belfast. The toilets in the jailhouse are a five minute walk away from the bar. Because as much as the staff in the jailhouse want you to have a good time, they also want you to exercise. People from North Belfast sleep for 18 hours a day and only open their windows to shout across the road at their neighbour. They wander around Cathedral Court or in their pyjamas all year round and can often fall asleep standing up. Belfast is full of black taxi cabs and all the drivers have a colourful history but make sure not to ask them about it. The Union Jack got taken down from City Hall in 2013 which was around the same time the Goths who used to hang around there disappeared. The Protestant community was in uproar. Everyone thought it was because of the removal of the flag but they actually just really missed the Goths. Every once in a while a few of them will remember the injustice and two or three Protestants will gather together outside City Hall to shake their fists at the sky and play My Chemical Romance on a loudspeaker, hoping for the best. Everyone gets confused by the Orange Order, but they're a group of men from Northern Ireland wearing Scottish garments, marching in the name of a Dutch king under an English flag. The Orange Order get a bad name, but I don't think they deserve it. Look at them. They're so cute. In Belfast, the orange men are everywhere, but we never hear of the apple men or the banana men. Where's their parade? It's 2021. All the fruits should have equal rights. Catholics get so upset when Protestants burn fires in Protestant areas because they secretly want to be invited to their bonfire and don't know how to ask, but also because they're terrified of fire and golf balls. And this guy. This is Tiger's Bay, not Tiger's Wood. Tiger Woods. Belfast recently won the award for the most multicultural city in the world. The most multicultural city in the world, from the sight of your rear view mirror. In the cathedral quarter, everyone goes to the half bar to drink, even though it's impossible to get a point there, because they're always overcrowded and understaffed. It's believed there's still some people in there now that are waiting on a drink, and they got there before the lockdown. Lavery's is one of the most popular nightclubs in Belfast. Everyone in here is always out of their head. It's believed the ecstasy pills taken in this club did more for the peace process than the Good Friday Agreement. Carl Frampton is the pride and joy of Belfast. Some say he's the Conor McGregor of the North. Other great fighters came from Belfast too, like Paddy Barnes. But it doesn't matter, because they sparred with Katie Taylor and she boxed the head off both of them. The only thing Catholics and Protestants can unify on is their shared hatred for people from Dublin coming up for a weekend to go clubbing. The food in Belfast is segregated. The rashers are on one side of the plate, then the eggs are separate, right next to the- Frankie, stop! The Catholics call this a full Irish breakfast. The Protestants, an Ulster fry. The Catholics eat Irish stew. The Protestants eat their own shit. Frankie! No they don't! It's called brown stew! Yeah, you can see how we got confused. Everyone in Belfast brags about the Titanic, like they built it themselves, and like it didn't sink on its first voyage. They even have a museum to celebrate this failure, over a hundred years later. The famous delicacy of Belfast is the Belfast Bath, which is just a breakfast roll 
with two huge burnt loaves of crusty bread dusted with flour. This local sandwich was socially engineered by the government to be so big that Belfastians would spend most of their lives trying to fit it in their mouths, which meant they wouldn't be talking in their loud voices, scaring away the pigeons. The Belfast Bop is not to be confused with the Belfast Bop, the dance of the locals. I'll now demonstrate. Uh, Frankie, what are you doing? I told you, I'm doing the Belfast Bop. But you're not moving. Exactly. People from Belfast don't dance. The Catholics and Protestants have been fighting in Belfast for years. Some know Belfast is in Ireland, while others think Belfast is England West. But despite all of this, Catholics and Protestants are far more similar than they are different. They don't really want to be fighting with each other. Everyone just wants a good dig and a fresh box of fags. They all want to be from the independent state of Belfast, because deep down, every Belfastian believes Belfast should be its own country on the planet of Northern Ireland. Namaste.